G'day again. It's a riff from Shady Designs Lampshades. And we're here with a little friend I like to call the Masoni Lamp. We're talking today about fittings. Finials and those kinds of fixtures. The parts that we attach to the lampshades. There's basically a few different styles of lamps that you're going to find. Most of them are quite common. So I'll take this apart so we can see what we've got underneath. A lot of people will notice this which is what we call, in our shop, the standard fitting. The standard fitting fits most regular size lampshades and you can mix and match from, more, uh, from most stores around Australia. So you, f you get yourself a little lamp base and any old shade and it should fit. Um, you can find these sized fittings in a lot of the antique old style lamp bases that you can see. Um, I've got a few examples around the room. But let's talk about this fitting. You basically take it off the screw cap, secure your shade on top, and the trick here now is to as gently as possible screw your lamp into place. Easy enough. But what happens if you've got a different sized fitting? This example I have here looks very similar and behaves very similar to the standard fitting I showed you. However, it's quite well, it's only 10 millimeters big, bigger, and we call this the European fitting. And here's a close-up look of a Euro. So you might find Euros in your ceiling pendants, or you might find them on the base fits. You've got to let us know, or your lamp base supplier or lamp shade supplier, that you've got a Euro, or if you've got a standard fitting. And that way you can help identify which lamp shade you're going to need. The best thing to do is if you've got your own base, bring it into the shop and then it can be properly measured up and fixed. American fittings, they're always a bit different. Traditionally we call this part the harp, this part the finial which screws on and that's the lamp holder. What normally happens is you have a lampshade that fits on the top and is screwed into place at the top. Uh, this kind of design, you're probably going to get an ornate looking shade. So, rather decorative and flowing. But in this case, we're using just a simple drum because our client wanted to do it, kind of modernise the, the, the room a little bit. What are your options? Because it's so specific, normally the hole at the top of the shade is going to be really small so that you can screw it into place. But that means your options are quite limited in what you have to do to create the shape. Here's a couple of quick, easy solutions. In this case, we can simply keep the harp and using a couple of everyday washers that I've bought from the, uh, the hardware store, I'm going to fit them on top of the lampshade. One on the bottom and one on the top. and then screw that into place. That's one option. The thing I don't really like about finial fittings is they're quite loose. So once it's screwed onto place, it's going to be a little disbalanced and a bit wobbly. The best way to secure a lampshade onto a lamp base these days is to screw it from the base or the lamp, this lamp holder here. You might be saying, but the harp's in the way. They're a fantastic design. All you do is move these two bits up, pinch the bottom, and it slips off. Now this basically turns into a standard fitting. And here's what we'll do. Take that half off. Uh, we've taken the half off, taken the screw cap off. And we'll secure the shade on top. That's all we've got to say about lamp holders and getting the mix of fittings right. Hope that's cleared it up for you. But if you've got any other questions, it's easy just to email us. Info at shadydesigns.com.au Take a quick photo of your lamp and we'll instantly recognise what we need to do. We'll be able to help you out. There's also more info on the website, www.shadydesigns.com.au 
We'll see you then. Cheers.